channel that was very loud i apologize or maybe it wasn't so loud today i am going to be doing my february unboxing for you so if you're new to the channel i do a lot of unboxings on here i do a subscription box unboxing sometimes i skip like i have been for the past couple of months for a little beauty box check out the spoilers if you want to see why and then also i do unboxings and vlogs i've been very busy recently so i'm even further behind than in general with my vlogs but i apologize and they are coming out i have one rendering right now as we speak um i am a little bit sick as you can tell actually I'm, I'm a lot of bit sick um uh i have been really busy with work and then i had a work meeting last week and on the flight back from um florida i got sick because kids so let me just get started here i have a bunch of stuff um i am also like having a lot of issues with my post office box right now basically long story short the um Supervisors at the post office are now well aware of the incompetency of some of the staff members. Um, long story, but they accidentally closed my P.O. box, even though I had paid everything up in front, like for the next 12 months in January, and they should have never closed it. But then they started sending all of my mail back to sender, which kind of stinks because some of it was tax documents. And then um, a lot of um, the uh, stuff that was sent from influencer got sent back to sender as well. So I'm not sure what it, in all of these boxes, some of them are here, some of them are not here, but we will find out together. So let me just get started with um, this box here because I do know that this is something that I need to work on. And this is from Influencer, and um, Influencer has been starting this thing that's like a claim now. I don't know if anyone else does Influencer, but um, it's kind of stressful because you have to click the claim now right, like literally now when you get the um, invite for it. And sometimes they send you the email first and sometimes the push notification comes first. But all I need, all you need to know is if you get that, you gotta click in right away because it times how quickly you collect things. And then once it's sold out, it's sold out. And that kind of seems as if that is going to be how they're doing a lot of stuff because that's how I got a lot of the items um, that I'm going to be unboxing today, including this one, which I'm actually quite excited by. Um, so if you don't know the um, backstory of my um, Instagram and everything, it's a food Instagram. And um, like I had a food blog and stuff. Stuff. So I used to go to like industry events and stuff for food and um, one of my favorite things was when I kept getting invited for ramen restaurants opening so when I saw this come through I was very excited um, but this one is from the Nissan um, brand of ramen instant noodles and there's going to be four items in here and I do need to um, definitely be reviewing these. So unfortunately I'm gonna have like a very high sodium intake this week because that's why I've kind of slowed down some of my instant noodles but um this is what it is. Very exciting. They're supposed to be spicy and as you can tell I'm sick as I already disclosed so this might be good to help me clear out my senses um because why is like okay I tried to order Shin Namion yesterday from H Mart on Instacart and why is it two dollars a package? <laughs> that's crazy expensive. Um but anyway I remembered I had these and I was exciting. So um, I don't know how to pronounce these because I don't speak Japanese, but I think it's Geki. Geki chili infused Asian noodle. It's a fiery hot chicken flavor. So that sounds delicious. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out if it's like the the um, fire chicken noodles that I really like. There's also going to be the hot and spicy fire wok torch teriyaki chicken flavor. And I can tell you that this box smells very spicy and like chicken. <laughs> So I don't know which one it is that's the most um, smelly like that. This is going to be rice and noodles. Stir fry rice with noodles, Korean spicy beef flavor. Maybe this is what it is because actually it kind of smells like yukejang, which I think is the Korean spicy beef flavor. And then also the final item in here is another cup noodle and this one is no added MSG because people care about that apparently. Hot and spicy fire wok molten chili chicken flavor. So I got four different flavors to try out so I'll tell you what I think about them and stuff like that but thank you to Influencer and Mason for sending these to me and I will definitely give you my honest review and feedback and thank you for giving them to me right when I need them when I have a very congested nasal passages. Okay gonna get this next box out of the it's quite large so I want to take up less space here this is from Amazon I just made this purchase it's a bunch of random stuff I can tell you that already <laughs> I have been purchasing a little bit too much from Amazon this month I can tell you that so um, luckily it all came out one time so the last time that I bought these I actually bought a one pack and I had meant to buy this four pack so I returned the one pack because it was the same price as this four pack um, but basically there are these um, little rings that you can put on the back of your phone or your tablet or whatever just so that you like don't drop it and stuff and you can also like move the ring around so it's like a stand also my face is really really puffy right now but anyway this one is um, pretty good and I'll link you below if you're interested in any of these items um, it might be an affiliate link just so you know that <laughs> this one's really weird um, 
but I basically bought this uh, massaging stick because recently when I've been walking for my fitness, which has been like, I've been doing it and then I got sick. So um, it's to like kind of relieve some of the pressure in there and it sounded kind of nice. I'll let you know if that actually helps. But somebody on YouTube I watched um, recommended getting one of these and it kind of seemed like it would be nice and also like a nice routine at the end of the day. This is very random, but it was a lot cheaper to buy this um, seaweed from um, Amazon than from H Mart. I even priced it out. And right now, if you buy it, they have a two pack that's actually cheaper than buying the single pack that I just bought, aka this one. So I'll try to link you the two pack because it's like legitimately you get two of them for the same price. Basically, I just had a craving for um, seaweed soup. I was watching somebody's video because it's like, um, Korean American vlogger, can't remember who it was, was making it because it was uh, Korean New Year's and that's like what you eat on Korean New Year's. So anyway, it's a sound of nice. I've been in a soup mood recently. Actually, every day is a soup mood, even in the summer, but I bought some of this just because, again, it was cheaper on Amazon. Also, I'm not feeling good at all. After I just sat up here, I'm like kind of like feverish feeling. Um, I also bought some pants hangers because um, I'm reorganizing my closet and the pants hangers that I have right now, um, my closet rod is like not a standard closet rod. I think they just bought a dowel somewhere. <laughs> it's like too thick so the hangers don't really work on it. So hopefully these hangers are the right size for the closet rod that I have. Um, but it's a two pack, uh, no it's a three pack. It's a three pack and then you're able to hang different trousers on here and hopefully that'll free up some space in my closet. I'm going to, re oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm sick. <laughs> I should not have started this video. Um, but yeah, so I bought these as well. So this is also another set of hangers. So I'm either going to return the ones that I just showed you, all these ones, depending on which one fits the rock closet rod best. Um, but this is like one of the ones with the little squeezer thingies that you can hang your pants by. Um, but it also says you can do it for tank tops, bras, and camisoles. So I don't know if anybody hangs those up, but if you do, maybe this might be good. Please bear with me as I'm sweating to death in here from <laughs> sitting up. Okay, so I'm going to move on to this. So I can't show you this, but it's kind of exciting. But unfortunately, they put a big sticker with my address and my name on it right on the top. But this is an influencer package from Coca-Cola. You don't know how excited I am to actually get Coca-Cola products in the mail. Um, as I mentioned, I have been doing a food Instagram for a while. So I got cans, two cans of soda, and this is the new flavor. And actually, I have been looking on social media and they had like a pop-up this weekend. Obviously, I haven't left my house at all. So ever since I got locked in the post office on Friday when I wasn't as sick as I am now um, But yeah, they were handing out out and it was like a very interactive experience so I was kind of bummed. I was like sick plus yesterday was like terrible weather, but um, it's a new flavor So I got the spiced and the spiced is zero and this is raspberry spiced coke and other natural flavors Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. I didn't know it was raspberry flavored I thought it was just gonna be like cinnamon coke or like something like that so raspberry, hmm, we'll see. I think it's funny how they like wrapped it in tissue paper, not tissue paper, bubble wrap. If I am to consume a soda this weekend, it's going to be the zero sugar one because I'm only gonna unwrap this one, which is actually the zero sugar one I was just talking about, um, fortuitous. But um, if I am going to drink one, it's probably gonna be this one because with cold, I don't like drinking a lot of sugary stuff because it tends to make it worse for me. I don't know if that's normal or if it's just psychosomatic. It might be psychosomatic. Anyway, so um, I'll let you know how I think about this on the vlog, probably in like to nine to 10 months from now because that's how far back I am. Um, but this one is again raspberry flavored. We'll see. I, I'm kind of leery about a raspberry spice flavored soda. This next item is like, I don't know what it is. It's kind of sketchy looking, not gonna lie. I hate these packages that they're stuffed with like lint. It's like the worst to open because if you if you open it at the wrong place, you get lint everywhere. And I opened it at the wrong place twice. Oh my gosh, see what I mean? It's like filled with lint. Oh my God, it's everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm wearing all black, so you're gonna see this lint forever. Um, I mean, I love that they're environmentally conscious, but uh, my apartment does not enjoy the fact that I just got lint everywhere. It's like filled with like, it looks like lint from the dryer mixed with like newspaper lint. I don't know, it's terrible. So this is from one of those claim nows from Influencer. I'm sorry, now I'm really sweaty. And this is from Ardell Lashes. So thank you to them for letting me try it out. It's going to be the Underlash Bond and Seal Duo up to 10 wear, 10 day wear. Oh my gosh. Um, I've been trying to do my best because I've been getting sent a lot of lashes recently. I don't know if they know that I have no eyelashes, but some of them are kind of hard to use, not gonna lie. But it says make any lash an underlash. 
gentle and strong hold. So that looks like how you're supposed to be able to apply it. Thank goodness it came with one of these eyelash tweezers because I've been trying to use a regular tweezers because I don't do my eyelashes like that and it doesn't work. So thankfully I have an applicator now. And then um, there's also here an underlash remover. So this is like a whole undertaking. And then underlash extensions. And this one is in the shape um, naked and it looks like there's different lengths. And I think there was this one here. Oh, hold on. No, actually that's it. So I got one set of underlashes and then a bunch of other applicator products and removal products. So thank you to them and I need to go grab my my uh, vacuum cleaner right after this. Um, so yeah, thank you to Ardell and Influencer and I will be cleaning up from that package forever so it will be in my memories. Okay, this one, I don't know what it is. It just says fragile liquid. Okay, this was another claim now. I'm sicker than I thought because I thought I could do this. Um, this is another one of the claim nows. It is from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm very happy to try these. I've tried the Magic Cream and I thought it was just okay. Um, but I have here with me the Magic Hydration Revival Cleanser and this one is a cream to foam to milk. So that's very interesting to me. So let me try to pull off the packaging here to show you. So it says it cleanse, hydrate, and glow instantly reduces the look of pores. I need that. And um, skin looks clearer and smoother. Oh my gosh, my hair. I just realized in the viewfinder how bad my hair looks. It removes all makeup and pollution. Oh my gosh, I am looking really rough. I'm sorry that you have to look at this. Hopefully nobody's made it this far. Deeply cleanses, purifies, and melts away all makeup and pollution, bathes skin in revitalizing hydration and fresh radiance. And I think it's a squeeze tube. Yeah, it's a little bit of a squeeze tube. Sorry, wrong side. So thank you to them. Got the cleanser. Very exciting. I love a cleanser. And I'm almost out of all the cleansers I have open right now. So that's actually perfect timing, even though I have a drawer behind me. Um, but I will be putting this one to the top of the line because I do have to review it. And then here I have the Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. So I have tried this in the past and I thought it was just okay, but I'll try it again um, and see if it has changed since the last time I tried it. This is what it looks like here. I'm trying to remember if it had a smell. I think it did. Yeah, it has kind of like a smell. It smells kind of like milky, milky perfume. Um, so floral, milky perfume. So anyway, thank you to Charlotte Tilbury. I will definitely be trying these out and give you my honest opinion. And also look again to a vlog in about eight to 10 months when I give you my first impressions of using both of those products. As an itchy person, I was very excited when I got this claim now. I've just been like really lucky with the claim nows. I don't know how they determine who gets sent it. My guess is, derm not demographics, demographics from um, like, your profile so i think a lot of times it's also based upon like region because a lot of people from the midwest apparently get them i didn't start getting the claim nows until like maybe a couple months ago but like my friends in the midwest have been getting it for a long time um anyway this one is cortisone 10 and i love <laughs> hydrocortisone cream i have like four tubes i have like one here one over by my bed a couple in the bathroom one in my travel bag so maybe five tubes uh but basically um i'm very allergic to any type of bug bite but it also is really nice if I have like dry patches and then every once in a while I get this like thing called angular chelitis where I get like huge um I don't know cracks they're not even cracks they're like ravines basically in the corners of my mouth um and this is the only thing that cures it so I was very excited when I saw this but this one has 24 hour moisture I don't think I've ever had this one I usually honestly buy the off-brand brand um one because I just go through it so often but it also says it's great for itch associated with eczema psoriasis and dry itchy skin intensive moisture cream um so very excited for this thank you to cortisone 10 because I love your products <laughs> even though most of the time I buy the off-brand but sometimes I got a good coupon and I do the Corazon brand brand. Okay, this is also from Amazon. Um, they didn't package them all together. I don't know why. Okay, so this is random, but basically like for a long time I was like very anti-water flossers, but my dad recently got one and he says it's actually been really nice. I use like different types of floss. I use like the regular floss. I use the flossers, you know, the ones on the stick. I use the ones that are like the little brush, but I figured he can't be too, too clean in between your teeth. So I picked up this water pick water flosser. It was really on sale. 
sale when I picked it up. I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, but it's the Cordless Express one. And it has two tips in here, one li one year limited warranty, and it has um, easy, most effective way to floss. So we'll see, because um, I definitely need to start being very much more careful because my current dental insurance is not great and I can't find a place that'll accept my dental insurance. <laughs> to be honest, I did get an advert in my peel box that I need to call and follow up on, but my friend was like, make sure you do a strong background check on the dentist. And I was like, okay, noted. Um, bad experiences on their, <laughs> their part in terms of uh, dentists in New York City. Okay, this is random, but let me open it. So just so you know, I am going on another Germany trip this summer. Summer. Um, my Germany vlogs from last summer will be going up in a few weeks or so if I get my butt into gear and I don't <laughs> continue being very busy at work. Um, but anyway, I figured I would pick up this learning German book um, just to kind of like have a little bit of stuff during my free time and also to push myself away from like being at the computer until so late doing my job um, just because I, sometimes you need a break, you know, and if I have something to do, I feel like that'll be great. Um, but I bought this um, used and it was not supposed to come with a CD, so I'm very excited that it came with a CD, even though I don't have a CD player, no. Um, but anyway, figured this would be nice to kind of just get some basics. I have like the very under basic, basic understanding from like junior high, so um, anyway. I have this and I just need to learn how to order stuff and ask where the toilet is. That's all I need to know. Okay, so this is like just the same stuff as I bought last month. Basically last month I bought some um, binders for my playbills and I put them all in liners and the binder and then the binder's overfull. I'm looking at it right now. So I bought a couple of extra binders to kind of split it up a little bit. And because I assume I'm going to more shows in the future. Um, so I think in here should also be a refill of um, the sleeve liners that I bought for the playbills. So if you are also a theater goer and you collect the playbills to remember when you went to shows and all the shows you went to, I'll try to link you below these binders and the uh, sleeves because um, you can buy like the specific ones for playbills but realistically those are like 30 bucks whereas these I think the binders were like five bucks and then the hundred pack of sleeves was like six bucks so I don't know depends on what you want in your life I like to save my memories and also save my money so I bought the, <laughs> the non-branded stuff okay this says this from Elemis I don't know what it is oh I'm quite excited for this actually this is the pro collagen cleansing balm and it's just like a little sampler I guess I'm probably clicked on an ad um, but I love clicking on those ads but um, this is nice because I actually really like this product it's a really nice cleansing balm it is very scented though um, but I needed another travel size cleansing balm so this is nice thank you oh yes as I mentioned, these are the mini sheet protectors that I bought and um, it's a hundred pack and I bought them and they fit the playbills perfectly. I can't pull them out to show you, but they're just like clear sheet protectors. So again, highly recommend checking this out if you are a playbill connoisseur. <laughs> also in random purchases from Amazon, um, I just bought like a set to replace the filters and stuff on my robot vacuum. Uh, so my robot vacuum is actually like going on seven or eight years old, so it's pretty old. Um, so I have replaced it one time um, in terms of like the uh, wheels and the, what is this called, the filter. Um, so I just needed another refill kit and this is two replacements in here. And then this final one here is from Amazon as well. Okay, this is a really random purchase, like super random, but I was like starting to get really, really ramped up in like terms of like stuff I needed to do at work. So my um, time allotted for lunch has been decreasing because I want to get out of work before like 6.30 um, basically um, and still get all my work done. So I just bought some lemon pepper um, little tuna pouches. It's not super snazzy or anything, but this was like a really good deal and it was a subscribe and save deal and I think I got 12 packs for eight bucks, which I thought was a pretty darn good deal. But yeah, that's just these like bumblebee tuna pouches. They're actually pretty okay and these came already um, seasoned. So I basically just make rice bowls and I throw them on top of rice with some vegetables and good to go, very quick, easy meal. And again, it was a really good price because usually like the can of tunas in my neighborhood are like $2.50, even for like off-brand ones. I don't know what's going on, um, but these pouches were pretty affordable. So got them. And then this final thing is very random, but um, basically there are these Japanese foot pads that I really like for relaxing and I ran out and then they had these. So I figured I would try them from Amazon. This is not the Japanese brand. This is like one of the knockoff brands. 
not knockoff necessarily, the non-name brand brands from um, Amazon. So I'll give these a go and I'll let you know if I think about them because again, I like the other ones, but this one is 70 of them for like a lot cheaper than the Japanese brand. Um, but basically you just like wash your feet um, before you go to bed and then you stick them on, they're like adhesive and then they just, you just relax. It's very nice. Um, I think this one is supposed to have bamboo vinegar. So there are some other scented ones. I think I had in the past like an orange one and like a lavender one. I don't like lavender anymore. I used to like tolerate it okay, but um, it's never been my favorite, but recently it's just like makes me gag because of the smell. Um, but it's supposed to, it says here that it's supposed to improve sleep quality, boosts energy, safe and easy to use, highly effective, removes odor. So if you have smelly feet, go for this, I guess. I don't have smelly feet. I just like the relaxation factor. Um, but I think that is everything that I have in here um, to unbox with you this week. Um, so actually that was not as much as it seemed like it was in terms of how many boxes I had in my apartment and how much I carried, but maybe it was just the stress of interacting with the post office that kept sending back stuff. Um, because some of the packages sent back were like super good stuff and I'm kind of upset. Um, so I have been selected to try like the new um, Google product that you like plug into your TV and my Amazon Fire Stick has been kind of on the fritz recently because it's kind of old so I probably should replace it. So I was like, great, I can save $50 and I'll try out this new Google product and if it works, it's great and I don't have to pay any more money for another Fire Stick. But if it doesn't work, I was already planning on paying for the Fire Stick anyway. Anyway, that got returned to sender because they closed my box. It's such a disaster. Anyway, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. I'm gonna go lay down on the sofa for the rest of the day because this was making me sweaty and I don't feel so good anymore. But first off, I need to vacuum all of the lint from that envelope off of my floor, off of my table, off of my clothes. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Follow me over on Instagram at Eat, Stretch, Explore, especially if you want to see more food and travel content because I do post over there a little bit more frequently. And also consider subscribing because I will be eventually posting more vlogs. Again, as I said, one is rendering right now on the computer. It's almost done, so I'll have that uploaded for later this week. But by the time you see this, maybe it was last week. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.